So the Buffalo Bills, first off, who gives a flying freak if um, if one of your cornerback's wife, Jordan Poyer is a safety, his wife decided to have sex with um, Antonio Brown, allegedly, no, there's no video of this, and obviously we don't know about this, but Rachel Bush is a woman. She decided to have sex with Antonio Brown. I don't know if Antonio Brown knew that she was supposed to get married to another male the next day, but apparently that's a story that Rachel Bush decided to, um, she was engaged, her wedding was the next day, and bachelorette party gone wild, she ends up having uh, sex with another person. Um, I don't know if Antonio Brown knew about that. I don't think Antonio Brown would feel good about possibly ruining a marriage before it starts. I don't know what the girl was thinking in that situation, why she would be committing to that situation, and why she would be behaving in that way. So there already was that awkwardness between Antonio Brown and Jordan Poyer, but Again, that's more of a wife's problem than Antonio Brown. I mean, she could have she could have had sex with a random stranger in the middle of the street. You know, it's more of an issue with what the girl was doing if that if that happens because she was cheating on him. You know what I mean? Antonio Brown probably had no idea. I, I don't think he even knows who Jordan Poyer is. Jordan Poyer is not a household name. Who the hell knows? It's just a girl that he meet that he met out. So I'm I'm not going to get on Antonio Brown about that, but. The bottom line is, why would the Bills want this guy? Why? He's 31 years old. Uh, He doesn't get along with the quarterback. He doesn't get along with his general manager. He doesn't get along with Emmanuel Sanders or Bruce Arians. He doesn't really get along with anybody. This guy doesn't really get along with anybody. So, Antonio Brown, he said he doesn't even want to play football anymore. He says he's not about winning. He's just building into a culture. Why wouldn't Antonio Brown want to go to Buffalo? You know what? I'm sick of people saying, you know, Buffalo's the Siberia of football. Josh Allen's a fucking good quarterback. He could throw the ball 70 yards in the air. This guy was a good quarterback at the University of Wyoming. Big time quarterback. And this guy can run and throw. And he's young. And your defense is good. You have the guy that I talked about, Poyer. You have the uh, Mika Hyde. You have Tredavious White. You have Shaq Lawson. You have you have uh, McDermott and Leslie Frazier on your defensive staff. You have Matt Milano, Lorenzo Alexander, and Tremaine Edmonds. You have Jerry Hughes, one of the best off-the-edge rushers in the NFL. Why wouldn't Antonio Brown want to play there? You could make a wild card in Buffalo. And also, Josh Allen is the anti-Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger's cocky. Ben Roethlisberger, you know, had a huge incident that possibly should be putting him in jail if, 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 uh, if alleged what happened, happened. Ben Roethlisberger is not exactly uh, the guy that's doing interviews. He's not exactly the golden boy. But Josh Allen is one of the friendliest quarterbacks in the NFL. Josh Allen loves his wide receivers. Josh Allen's a team guy. You have Shady McCoy, Josh Allen. You have great leaders on that offensive staff. Josh Allen's the quarterback that you, he's a young quarterback. He's like your younger brother. He's the opposite of Ben Roethlisberger. He has no ego. He has no place in this NFL right now, meaning he has no entitlement. So what do you want? Josh Allen would be your best friend. You have no receivers in Buffalo. You'd be getting plenty of action there. And it's not like Green Bay, Wisconsin is freaking Honolulu. It's fucking Green Bay. So people are acting like Buffalo's the Siberia and it's the North. Green Bay, I know that they have championships. And first of all, Aaron Rodgers talked to any of his receivers. They fucking hate him. Jennings, uh, Greg Jennings hates Aaron Rodgers. Jermichael Finley hates Aaron Rodgers. Donald Driver, Brett Favre's a great guy. Aaron Rodgers, pretentious California dick. Aaron Rodgers' family hates Aaron Rodgers. His own mother don't like him. His own brother don't like him. So why do you want to then go to a place? You talk about how you hate Big Ben Roethlisberger, right? You talk about why you hate Big Ben Roethlisberger. While it's about it's about culture, right? It's about culture. It's it's about it's about fitting in. It's about having friends. It's about loving what you do. It's about loving what you do, right? 
It's about doing it with guys that you love. Why would you go with a quarterback that has possibly the worst leadership reputation in all of football if it's not about winning? Because Big Ben and Aaron Rodgers are both good quarterbacks. But it's Green Bay, it's Buffalo. Such a hypocritical argument. Buffalo takes all this shit all the time, Buffalo. You take shit all the time. Buffalo's building a giant. They don't need him anyway. You know, Antonio Brown, I mean, saying it's fake news, he don't want to play in Buffalo. So why would Brandon B want to make that decision? Antonio Brown, what the hell does the guy even want anymore? Does he want to have a great football playing experience? Does he want to win? Does he want to play football? Because Josh Allen would treat you like a king. You would be able to be the big brother to Josh Allen in the NFL. You'd be able to teach him everything. You would have a lot of fun playing football in Buffalo. And, And stop worrying about this gosh damn safety Jordan Poyer. I mean, first of all, Poyer shouldn't even get mad at you anyway. You had no clue what was going on in the situation. It's pretty much the wife's fault anyway. And, and, you know, he ended up with some other girl or something. That's just a bunch of drama. Why do you want drama in Buffalo, New York? Why? You know, Bill's like, listen, this guy, I'm out on this guy now. He, you know, he clearly just wants to manipulate everything in everyone's life. He wants to control everything. Antonio Brown right now he is not going to be you are not going to be able to instruct him at all he is not going to listen to anyone to anything anyone else says he could retire at any moment why would you give up anything for this guy this guy doesn't like playing the game of football anymore which is fine Antonio Brown's a superstar first battle hall of famer he's a great player amazing player his production speaks for itself he just don't want to play football anymore he doesn't want to play in buffalo if you're the buffalo bills just why would you get him even if you're giving up a you know you're giving up something why would you give up anything for antonio brown if he's not going to play you know is is antonio brown really going to enjoy playing is he going to help josh allen um according to him He's not going to help at all, but I, I would think that it was a good situation. You, you have a winning team. You have a good quarterback. You have a good nucleus of guys that, that actually are fun to play with in the Buffalo Bills. But uh, Antonio Brown, I don't know what the heck the guy wants. Does he want to play with Aaron Rodgers and risk possibly being like, like, like all the other teammates that f- pretty much hate the guy? Does he want another Big Ben Roethlisberger and Aaron Rodgers? Maybe. Does he care about winning? Maybe. Does he want to play in Green Bay, Wisconsin? Great. It's just like Buffalo. I've been to both cities. Or I've been to Green Bay. I love Green Bay, too. I love Green Bay and Buffalo. I like I like Buffalo and Green Bay just as much as New York City, Washington, D.C. I'm that kind of guy. You know, I like rural. I like just relaxed, slow, slow-paced style of life where you can bowl, go to the movies, play laser tag. I like doing that stuff. I don't need everything. But Antonio Brown, Miami guy, luscious L.A. style of life, totally understand where he's coming from, doesn't want to play in Buffalo. But yeah, I'll play in Green Bay. That's like hypocritical as all hell. So anyway, what does he want? Does he want to win? If he wanted to win, he'd probably stay in Pittsburgh anyway. Does he want to play with Aaron Rodgers, one of the best quarterbacks of all time? Maybe. Maybe that's a good spot for him, but it's ridiculous. I mean... I think Buffalo dodged one here. You don't want any part of this guy.